Republican presidential candidate Ron Paul raised big bucks and some uh, major eyebrows with a very successful one-day internet fundraising drive. Amazing, amazing numbers. The impressive numbers, in fact, attracting new attention to a candidate many had simply assumed was an extreme long shot. Carol Costellos here in the Situation Room. She's been following this story all day. Uh, the big question a lot of people are asking, can he translate these millions of dollars into votes? And that would be the $4.38 million dollar question, Wolf. I mean, Ron Paul wows them online, but can he wow them any better offline than Howard Dean did? I talked to the candidate himself, and he told me he can. I'm Ron Paul, and I'm running for president. Meet Ron Paul, winner of the biggest money bomb of this year's Republican presidential campaign. That's what his supporters call it, his money bomb. It means his supporters dropped $4,380,000 in 24 hours. That's $182,500 per hour, $3,042 per second. Thank you for uh, the support. We've always known the message was very powerful, but we didn't know how many people would support it. But his supporters call Ron Paul an Internet sensation, much like Howard Dean was in 2000. <laughs> Only better. Paul essentially stays out of the way and lets his online supporters figure out how to raise money. Their Net Roots campaign is sometimes wholesome and sometimes decidedly not. And if I'm so dumb, then how do you explain this? She and hundreds of thousands of others are hip to Paul because he's anti-war, fiscally conservative, and they say principled and honest. They know that despite a decided lack of traditional media coverage. Ron Paul did participate in all of the Republican debates, but after they ended, TV anchors ignore him. According to the tracking company VMS, Ron Paul's name was mentioned just 4,695 times on TV news and cable shows from August of 2006 to August of 2007. What a comparison? John McCain was mentioned 95,005 times. It's not something that's lost on Paul. I think maybe it might be, you know, a little lazy work on their part, and it's hard for them to believe that somebody that takes my positions uh, would have such a popular following. But after Paul's money bomb, things may change. While Paul lags behind candidates like McCain and mentions in poll position, he has more money in the bank than Senator McCain. I think that people are starting to pay attention. So the big step is, can Ron Paul make the jump from his early adopters to the mainstream? And Paul is is already trying to slip into the mainstream. But he's honest, and you always know where he stands. He's running traditional TV ads in New Hampshire and will campaign the old-fashioned way in Iowa. And he'll be singing the same tune wherever he goes.